going on guys? Solar Smoke Barbecue. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed last week's uh, Cold Smoke Cheese video. Um, it's my favourite toy at the moment now. So I'm definitely going to be doing another Cold Smoking video today. But I've got a treat. I'm taking this uh, recipe and some inspiration from it from Elton's Barbecue Pit over in Norway. Um, we're going to do some smoked salmon today. Yeah. So um, it does. I, I can from, from doing this recipe, I can really understand now why smoked salmon is so expensive. Just because of the pure time it actually does take to do it. Um, however, I've gone to the local supermarket. I've bought. Um, about half a side of salmon, it cost me around £8, got it from Asda, uh, some of the Asda supermarkets over here do have a fishmonger so I would definitely recommend going and having a look there, salmon seems to be pretty good quality, um, so this is actually I suppose really a cheap way of making some cracking smoked salmon, when you compare how much it would, it would cost to get this amount of smoked salmon um, at any supermarket you're going to be spending well over £20. So, um, just a little bit of hard work, uh, but fun hard work. We're going to be making um, half a side of smoked salmon. We're going to cure it with salt and uh, brown sugar. We're going to leave that for about 24 hours, but I'll show you the process. Uh, we're going to be taking it out of the Weber Smoking Mountain, using it as a cold smoker again. We're going to be using that fantastic Pro Q cold smoke generator with some beech wood uh, we're going to use for it. Um, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to the video. I've been wanting to try this now for about a week and a half now. Watched enough videos on it. So I uh, hope you guys have some fun. And uh, we'll pick back up when I've got this side of uh, salmon down here. And uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. Hey guys. So you can see here I've got a beautiful um, fresh piece of salmon. Um, Colour's fantastic on it. This, is, this again is from Asda. Uh, I can't knock the quality of it really. It looks beautifully fresh. Um, I was going to show you, but I thought I may have to debone this. However, as you can see here, quite clearly, they have actually deboned the salmon for me, which is a huge plus as well. That's a huge saving time. That would have easily took a while. But just in case um, you don't actually get it that it's been deboned already, um, I can suggest some tweezers. Some normal sterilised um, pear tweezers. Uh, that would be fantastic for just picking out the bones all along here. You'll find them, uh, if you run your finger across the salmon, you'll be able to feel the bones themselves. And if they were there, then obviously you would go along by each one and pluck it down as such. Um, but thank you very much, Asda. Um, so we'll be get on to the uh, curing process now. It's really simple. Uh, you'll see I've got it on some greaseproof paper. I'm trying to minimize the amount of time that the salmon touches anything that could potentially um, contaminate the salmon obviously with cold smoking as Elton says on his channel we're not using any heat during this process so uh, we've really got to keep it clean um, so I have a spotless catering tin that has all been washed out I have washed my hands thoroughly um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place the salmon I've left the skin on my back uh, into my pan as you can see here uh, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using equal parts table salt and brown sugar. And we're going to be coating the whole side here. And again, on the back. Um, once that process is done, uh, I will show you what it looks like before it goes back in the fridge, of course. Um, is I'll cling film right over the top of this, keeping it all airtight. Keep it in the fridge. And I'm hoping that the curing process should take around 24 hours. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just, just get it started is... I've just got some regular regular table salt, table sea salt, um, and I'll be using some brown demerara sugar, um, and I'll just be giving a good coating uh, on both sides, as I say. But uh, we'll pick back up uh, once I've got that done. All right, guys. So just like I said, um, so you can have a look in the pan. I've made a good, good coating um, of salt, and don't be uh, too shy on the salt. So I've read in a lot of reliable sources. Um, so I have gone fairly generous with the salt, the table salt all over. I've got uh, the demerara brown sugar all over. So the next process now will be putting the cling film to make it all airtight across that. And it will be going in the fridge for 24 hours. Um, once we pick up again tomorrow, uh, what we'll do then is we'll give it a quick rinse off with water. Um, get all the salt and sugar off. And at that point then, you'll see how the salmon looks after the curing process. But until then, we'll pick back up in the morning, solar smoke, smoke salmon today. 
Hi guys, so we're back. Um, the salmon has been cured. Um, it's been in that salt for about 48 hours. I ended up leaving it two days. Um, you can see it's in the, in the pan, it's pulled all the moisture out completely. Um, it's got like a nice firm texture now. I can, it's a lot firmer from before, so we've definitely um, cured that now. Um, what I'll be doing now is I'll be rinsing the salmon off in uh, fresh cold water, again, cold water. Um, getting all the excess salt off, um, cleaning that pan. Um, then I'm gonna pop the salmon back in a water bath for just one hour. Uh, one hour of the, um, uh, the side of salmon being submerged in some pure cold water. That's just gonna bring all the salt to the surface and stuff. And then um, once we've got that step done, guys, um, I'll be drying the uh, salmon off and it's gonna be heading out to the smoker. So I'll see you out at the WSM with the cold smoke generator and uh, we'll get to producing some fantastic smoked salmon. Catch in a bit. All right guys, so just before we do actually go outside to the WSM, um, I've gone ahead and just like I explained in my last video, I've uh, filled up the whole cold smoke generator with uh, beech wood today. Again, it doesn't go over the top of a maze whatsoever. So it's not gonna jump and uh, burn the wrong way. It's all gonna stay on course. Um, I have taken up the advice of one of my viewers who quite rightly pointed out on my last video that you may have seen me struggling with the tea lights, getting it out after I'd lit it. I've gone ahead and just popped a nail in the side of the um, tea light candle. I mean, you can use a screw, but I've had a nail to hand. And what that'll allow me to do is, obviously, to insert it in and take it out very easily, rather than fumbling about as I did last time. So, again, guys, we're going to be smoking the salmon today with beechwood, cold smoke generator, and just a little useful hint and trick there for your tea lights. Catch it a bit. All right, guys, so we're back out here at the WSM. Um, here's the salmon, uh, coal smoke generator below. You can see it's been on for quite some time now. Uh, we're pushing about five hours. Um, you can see the color change here on the um, salmon itself. You can see how much it's taken on the smoke. It's gone a much deeper um, pink, and uh, that's exactly what you should be seeing at this point now. Um, smells absolutely amazing. Uh, this is gonna be such a good, piece of smoked salmon I'm so pleased with how this has turned out so far um, coal smoke generator there you go you can see some lovely smoke coming up there um, it's working fantastically again uh, possibly my new favorite method of smoking at the moment um, but yeah you can really see how the salmon's taking um, because it's not a massive piece of salmon I anticipate maybe another hour I don't want to over smoke it so uh, we'll let this ride about another hour and uh, we'll pick up when it's almost done all right guys, so finally, after six and a half hours of smoking, uh, the salmon itself is finished. Looks fantastic, smells even better. This was a very successful uh, smoke. What I'd like to show and point out mostly is the color change that we have seen. It's become that deep, rich pink color that we're accustomed to seeing when you buy smoked salmon from the supermarkets or delicatessen. A very fun, uh, Pretty inexpensive way of producing some top quality smoked salmon. This will go fantastic maybe on some uh, little uh, Russian Bellini pancakes. Bit of um, sour cream, bit of cream cheese, anything you like. Uh, the idea guys, just like the cheese that I did, is to wrap this in some cling film and put it into the fridge just for a couple of days. That'll uh, really let the smoke that's been infused into the piece of fish develop. And uh, it's worth noting that cheddar that I did the other day in the other video, uh, after about fourth day, the, the flavour was phenomenal. Really deep, rich, smoky flavour uh, coming across with a, with a mature cheddar. Um, again, that could come down to the oak that I used on that smoke. Uh, as you see, this is a much lighter type of smoke. This was with the beech wood. So you really do, it really does matter what type of wood that you are using. Um, all down to taste as well, really. Um, but I'm very, very happy with this. So in a few days time, I'll be using a razor sharp knife and we'll be going across shaving it off um wafer thin slices guys to get the best out of this but again um i'll give you an update in the next video on, on the next cook the next smoke that we do about how the salmon went uh this is oh, it's just i'm lost for words really i was a little nervous doing this one uh obviously never brined never never cured anything before um so i was a little hesitant of how it was going to turn out but not to worry solar smoke was here Save the day. <laughs> Guys, again, smoked salmon using a WSM as a cold smoker. That Pro-Q cold smoke generator. Again, I'll put the links down in the description of where you can buy those from. But, yeah, great piece of uh, fish here. 
great piece of smoked salmon. That's going to go down wonderful. Um, very, very happy. Guys, again, if you like what I'm doing, just give us a like, hit the subscribe button, let people know about my channel. Um, and we'll be coming back next week with another smoking video. Until then, thanks for watching.